This is a Monstrum Banshee with their new Daylight Bright reticle. A lot of optics claim to be Daylight Bright, but we're going to find out if this budget optic truly lives up to that claim. Hey, Moondog here. I have in my hand the Monstrum Banshee with the new BDC-C1 reticle that promises to be daylight bright. Now I know that term daylight bright can be a little bit loose, and certainly there are brands out there that I've looked at uh, that claim to be daylight bright, and it left me thinking, really? Really? Now, what does that mean to you? Leave me a comment. Tell us what does daylight bright and what should it mean in an LPVO? Does that mean that you should be able to make out your reticle against a sunlit white target? Or does that mean you should be able to make out the reticle looking directly into the sun? Uh, but today we're going to take a look at the Banshee and we're going to see what you get in the package and see how Monstrum defines daylight bright. Rather than doing an unboxing, let's just show you what you get in the box. The Banshee's package includes flip-up lens caps and a pretty nice offset mount. This is the new Monstrum Banshee 1-6x24, and this is their new fiber optic LPVO with a BDC C1 reticle, so that's what makes this new, but otherwise it looks pretty much identical to um, all the other models of Banshee. Let me just take off these, and it has the nice big wide piece of glass here for your ocular lens so you have an unobstructed uh, wide field of view when you have this mounted. But overall it has um, the Banshee's very clean Spartan design. The illuminator knob has an off, a zero, in between each of the illumination settings. Not super loud but that's pretty, pretty good clean clicks tactile clicks between the illumination settings and can we see yeah and that is at one by the way so let's take a look at these turrets and these are capped let's listen to this ah nice and loud not super tactile though I mean I can I can feel when it clicks but it's kind of mushy and there's a bit of slop these are half uh, an MOA per click. And these are resettable, so if once you have your reticle zeroed out, you can unscrew this with an Allen key and then pop it off and place it back on to your, to your zero. Let's just listen to these windage. Oh, not as loud. And like the elevation, not super tactile positive and a bit of slop. All right, eh, not bad for a budget LPVO. Let's just take a look. Pretty smooth, a little gritty at the end, and it has a. It's nicely ribbed to provide a good con contact surface to be able to manipulate it either in the uh, with gloved hands in the cold or wet hands, and it has a little fin to provide you with extra leverage should you need it without. Uh, having a very tall throw lever, so that's that's nice. Let's just take a look at this diopter. A lot of people just don't know if they need to adjust this. Not smooth, but not butter smooth, and a little bit of grittiness at the end. All right, so let's go test this out. We'll, we'll take a look at this, how bright this reticle is outdoors, and take it out to the range next. We're looking through the Monstrum Banshee Fiber Optic BDC reticle at its lowest magnification of one power to get our best overall image through the glass in terms of color, contrast, detail, sharpness, and brightness. And if you compare the image inside of the glass to the world outside of the glass, you can really get a good sense of how accurate and sharp this optic is. And as we move this around, we're also looking for any distortions in the image from the center to the outer edge, as well as comparing it to the outside uh, real world image. And we're not getting any sense of fish eyeing with this scope, which is great. And we can confirm that by taking a look at this telephone pole, bringing it up to the right edge of our scope image, because with a lower quality optic, you're gonna get a lot more distortion. That straight telephone pole is gonna look bent, bowed out, and it's not, it's looking very straight. So that's a good indication that this is good glass. 
because as we increase magnification, we are just going to be magnifying all the faults in the glass. So let's just do that and see what it looks like about halfway up its magnification range to three power. And that still looks quite detailed. We're seeing good detail in the trees in the foreground, all the branches and the leaves there. As we bring it up to its maximum of six power, we're still seeing really good detail. And that hilltop is 1,400 yards away, so we're seeing a lot of atmospheric haze between us and the top of that hill. But we can make out quite a bit of detail still, even at six power here. I can see the trail marker sign that's peeking up above the bushes there. That is a 36 inch sign on top of an eight foot pole, um, but that's a good proxy for an IPSC target at this distance. We can even make that out with a, this six power LPVO. We are getting a little bit of chromatic aberration. That is a purplish color fringe uh, at the tips of the tree line as it meets the sky, but that's not bad. This is not bad for an LPVO. This is at one, off two, three, four, five, and this is its brightest setting at six, and it is quite bright. It's even blowing out the center of the crosshairs here. That's how bright it is. And is it daylight bright? Well, let's bring it up against that sunlit wall. Yeah, I can easily make that out, but more importantly, let's make let's bring it up into the sky, into these clouds here and I can still make out that reticle so I would say this is daylight bright. All right we're looking at our targets downrange at 100 yards through the Monstrum Banshee with a fiber optic BCC1 reticle and let's bring this up to its maximum of six power. Take a look at that target. All right that's a good clean view. All right, let's bring it over to 50 yards and uh, take a look at 50 yards using our reference target on the bottom left, looking at that reactive sticker target. But more importantly, can we make out the 22 caliber bullet holes below that sticker target? And then using our US Air Force optical resolution chart on the bottom right to see how far down in vertical and horizontal resolution lines we can make out All right, the Monstrum Banshee BDCC1. They really need to come up with a better name for this. How about the Monstrum Fiber Bright Banshee? There we go. This thing really does live up to expectations and uh, the marketing hype about this. Um, first of all, it is truly daylight bright, and we'll get to that in a second. But uh, just looking through this at one power, um, it really is a clear, clear sharp image on here for and for a uh, budget optic and certainly this is nowhere near as pristine super bright and crisp as a two to three thousand dollar high-end lpvo but for what you're paying for this this easily outperforms or matches other lpvos that are two to three times its price and the eye relief maybe could be a little bit better, but the eye box is pretty pretty average, pretty typical of a, of a one to six. And you know, not worse, not any better than most. Uh, even you know, when I was running a few mags on this to, to confirm that it held zero, I was able to easily reacquire. Um, I, I never lost sight of the reticle and my aim point. But of course, this one has the new fiber bright red dot illumination on the center that is truly red dot bright. I mean, I could see this practically looking into the next to the sun and I could still see that that dot and if you're interested in picking one of these up I'll include product links as well as more information and the cheapest place you can get this um, that I found online in my full written review at moondogindustries.com definitely check that out I use those links and help support this channel and of course the best way to support this channel is by simply hitting the like and subscribe buttons right now it just takes a second and it really helps this channel grow. So I appreciate you doing that. And I want to thank Monstrum Tactical for sending this out for me to test and evaluate. And I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You be safe out there. Moondog, out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to moondogindustries.com.